Hello and welcome to this introduction to iMazing Configurator. I'm Gregorio Zanon from uh, DigiDNA and um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use iMazing Configurator to supervise a bunch of devices simultaneously and do quite a bit more. Uh, so let's get started. This is uh, iMazing's main window. The Configurator is located uh, in the Configurator main menu. So I'll open the library. This is the configurator's library. You see tabs for um, all the different types of assets that you uh, configure in configurator. There's no need to go through them right now because everything can be configured in line um, when you build your first blueprint. So this is my blueprints library. Um, configurations are always applied uh, via blueprints. And uh, I'll just build a new blueprint and uh, apply it. And we'll do that to, uh, together in less than five minutes. So I click the plus button to create a new blueprint. This is the blueprint editor. Um, you see it's divided in eight different sections in the sidebar. So let's get started. Um, I'll name my blueprints, iMazing Demo. Then a brief description. What we'll do is um, supervise, install an app, a PDF reader, and launch the app in single app mode. We'll do a bit more than that, but um, that will be enough for now. Now, in this general um, section, there's a Wi-Fi profile drop-down. Uh, it's, for many configurations, it's really good to have a Wi-Fi profile so that um, the devices can connect to your Wi-Fi network um, when you configure them without any interaction. So, uh, here I can choose from my profile library. It filters Wi-Fi profiles only. But I'll show you, if you don't have a Wi-Fi configuration profile, how easy it is to create one in line with uh, iMazing. Just click plus, and that automatically launches uh, iMazing Profile Editor with a Wi-Fi payload ready to be configured. All you need to do is name the profile and enter the network name here, the password here, and that's it. Very, very simple. And then save, of course. Uh, the profile will appear, I won't save for now, will appear here immediately. So I'll just select my private Wi-Fi profile here. OK, that's done. Um, then you notice that um, under the drop-down, there's a field called seconds to wait to let devices acquire Wi-Fi connection. Uh, we'll leave that to 30. It's good to, you know, if you're, you're configuring 20 devices at the same time, to give it some time because they'll all connect one after the other and your router may be a bit overloaded. So, um, okay, that's done. Organization. That's very important. Um, to supervise devices, you need to choose an organization. So I'll choose DigiDNA. If you don't have an organization because you're starting out with uh, supervising your devices, you can create one here using the plus button, or you can import one from um, Apple Configurator, or if you have DP devices, you can uh, import uh, your supervising host certificate. Um, okay, I'll choose my organization, and now I can supervise the device. I'll leave the default options here for now. Setup and accessibility. Uh, do I need to do anything in particular here? I won't need wallpapers, but I could set wallpapers here. Accessibility. Oh, setup assistant steps. Here, I will select don't show any setup steps, so that the setup assistant uh, is as, as lean as can be. OK, that's done. Then actions. So I will erase the devices, and I will exit the setup assistant. Oh, yes. Even better, uh, in order to launch the app in single app mode, I exit the setup assistant so that uh, there's zero user interaction required. Once I apply the blueprint, it will configure the devices and launch the app, and I won't even have to touch anything. Apps. OK, let's. Uh, Sign in. OK. Um, I was already signed in before, so that was very quick. I was signed in uh, before starting this video uh, in another blueprint. So I amazing remembered that, and that was very quick. I'll click single app mode. That connects to um, our volume purchasing ac account, which is a uh, Apple business account, and lists both system apps and the apps we have in our volume purchase account. So, for this demo, I will install FileApp, which is an old app of ours, a file manager and a PDF reader. Okay. 
Now, amazing when uh, it will deploy the blueprint to devices, it will manage VPP assignments. So the license will actually uh, be assigned to the device on which the blueprint is deployed. Um, and I will also do an accessibility setting here. I'm going to invert colors so that file app looks like it's in dark mode, even though it's not. Um, yeah, it's just demoing the um, different options available in single app mode here. Then app files and configuration. Here I can add the app first, file app. OK, so I want to add files to file app. Double click here and drag and drop this amazing configurator demo PDF, OK. And then I can also, and that is absolutely unique to uh, iMazing Configurator, set the configuration of file app. So I will override defaults with, with this plist here. Go. And I'm doing this because I want file app to automatically launch the PDF uh, which I pushed. That way, um, when I'll apply the blueprint, the devices will be supervised, and uh, file app will be installed, and then uh, the PDF will be transferred, and the configuration of file app will be overridden, and it will launch in single app mode and immediately display that PDF, uh, which is really pretty cool. App restrictions. Um, I will allow actually only file app. Only allow the following apps. Again, file app. I'm doing this so that um, even though the, app, the um, devices will be in single app mode, the system apps are still there after an erase. By restricting um, allowed apps and clicking uninstall restricted apps, iMazing will uh, remove the system apps even before they download. That way, it will crowd your network much less. Uh, no unnecessary downloads. OK, then profiles. Here you can install configuration profiles, which you can create and edit in iMazing Profile Editor, as we saw before. Profile library, if you click plus here, you can start a new configuration profile, which is pretty great as well. OK. Um, I'm not going to install any additional profiles for now. I'm saving this blueprint. And then all I have to do, iMazing Demo, apply blueprints, and this is uh, the view we call the uh, operation dispatcher view. This view can launch this apply blueprints operation on 20 devices simultaneously and even more. Um, so we can choose max simultaneous operations. It's 10 here by default. Let's set it to 20 uh, so that we can launch the operation on all 13 devices at the same time. Um, you know, if you don't, uh, if you don't want to, to 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 risk it and to risk having too many devices connecting at the same time to your Wi-Fi network and uh, uh, eating up too much bandwidth, you can also uh, have quite a low uh, number here, like five, and iMazing will manage a queue automatically. Uh, iMazing can also here, if you click here, automatically apply the blueprint to all devices which are connected by USB. So you can connect devices one after the other and just have the same workflow being applied through the entire day just by connecting devices. OK, I won't do that now. And I'll just select all. Just verify that a personal device isn't in there somewhere. Uh, notice that one of the devices is already configured. It doesn't matter. iMazing will still do its job just fine on it. And the others are erased. So this one will be erased. And uh, there we go. Let's do this. OK, I have a warning that it will erase the devices, which is good. I don't want to forget about that. And apply. And that's it. Let's put it in full screen. If that will work, oh, button here. Um, and I can just follow the operations, device by device. I can sort by status, device name, I.O. status, serial number, model, have all these columns here available. And um, yeah, that's how easy it is to deploy configuration. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video where um, we actually get to see the devices uh, being configured and uh, launching the app. Have a great day and uh, more in coming, upcoming videos about how to use Amazing Configurator for your business. Bye-bye.